Hi Aries, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Aries, this is your general reading starting today on the 12th of October. And I added some little new element. I just felt like doing it. Maybe it's just for today. I don't know. With uh, pulling just one card for you with this life purpose um, tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. So let's see what... Can we get just one life purpose card for Aries, please? purpose card what can we give Aries <clears throat> there you go hearts desire the angels are supporting guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality so it's very much about uh, not so much you're gonna you're this or you're that it's whatever path you're on right now know that you have full support it's like a, it's a green light it's a go the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. That's beautiful. So I'm going to use the Psyche Tier Oracle deck by John Holland uh, to just get your overall general energy. And for that, I usually get two cards. That was one, right? Yes. Wow. Things are looking good, Aries. There's the other one. Wow, it's, um, I keep saying wow, but it's really cool. With this heart's desire as a, like a little addition there, but dreams become reality. And then we have prosperity begins here with number one. So one is all about new beginnings. It's all about starting, starting fresh, starting new. Uh, um, it doesn't have to be from the, very very new it can be something that you've been trying to get up and running for a while but the focus here is on the new start do you see there how you put the seed in the ground the seed has turned into roots the roots has turned into a tree and there's already um fruits on this tree there's something about coming together with others there's a connection being made with others so i think for your your prosperity path i was not going to say pros prosperity path it, because this says prosperity begins there. I was going to say um, your career path, your life path. Uh, but let's call it prosperity path because that's really beautiful. Um, you're not going to go it alone. Uh, I feel like this is a really good time for you to connect in with others that really are on the same path as you are, having the same ideas, having the same, um, perhaps not the same ideas, but per, uh, what is it that I'm outlook having like the same outlook having the same way of seeing things so so that you sort of speak the same language so there's some sort of really cool business that you perhaps are going to get off the ground uh like i said it's been a while that you're you've been doing this or you've been thinking about it or you've been like trying to get to the like trying to get it off the ground and here we have prosperity begins saying it's not like you just put down the seed. The seed has been put down long ago. So this idea has been with you for quite some time. And we're now just starting to see the fruits of it. So it's it's starting to generate some sort of money, income, uh, people starting to see interest in it. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, it is becoming a reality for you. Uh, and then we have number seven, which is basically... Um, if I get any chance to get my cake story in, uh, it's basically the same thing as I was just talking about how we have the seed that has turned into roots to then the tree to then the fruit. Number seven is all about a completion of something. And I usually, I usually uh, use my cake story that you might have been a bit sick and tired of uh, by now. The cake story is all about finding the right ingredients, finding the right people finding the right ideas, putting them all together into the perfect mix, uh, putting it in the oven and just have the waiting game be there. Like a little, we all know that there's a little pause. There's like a little limbo situation when you're sort of getting your uh, idea from the idea stage into reality. And if you sort of just compare it to making a cake, you don't go and lose faith 
in the time where the cake is in the oven, you've such strong faith that that cake is still in there. It hasn't disappeared on you. Uh, that the cake actually is going to be baked. It's not like you five minutes and go, oh, it's just never going to be ready. And you just, you, <laughs> you lose all hope over that cake. Like it's, it's like, man, I, I, I was so hopeful about this cake, but I just five minutes in, I just feel like might not happen, might not be a cake after all. Um, if you're not trusting it fully, you might you might open the oven a couple of times and you might poke it a bit and you might feel like if, if it's ready. But other than that, I think that there's like a full trust. You've been waiting. There's been a waiting game and now it's time to take the cake out and enjoy it. That's number seven. That's backing up. But this is also seven is also uh, divine guidance, like the showing that the angels are with you. And perhaps you're seeing some of you guys might be seeing the sequence of 777 right now or 7777. Um, seven seven or something like that because with this um supporting guiding and protecting you as your dreams become reality that's very much seven for me as well this card is called stand your ground and what i feel with that is just don't waver like don't don't um move back and forth in this don't lose faith uh there's a lot of negatives there stand your ground it's like what they're telling you to do. Just keep keep holding the energy, keep holding the um, where you're headed and it will become a reality. Like you cannot fail, okay? And then I'm using the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue um, to just clarify this. So can we just go deeper here for Aries, please? What do they need to know right now? <clears throat> So underneath this prosperity begins, we have three of Gabriel, which is all about your ship is coming in. Three is strong manifestation. I mean, three is the, it is the not seen. Okay, how do I say this? Because number three or 33 is a master number and 33 is when it's done. It's like a done deal. It's here. It's ripe. It's going to happen. Um, but three also, like in the sequence of three, six, nine, three is all about, um, it's in the esoteric. Do you say that? It's in the esoteric realms. It's in the, it's in the ethers. It's like, it's becoming, it's happening. And three also represents creativity, joy, happiness, fun. It's a, it's a very, very lucrative, creative time for you right now. And some way, somehow, your ship is coming in. Uh, you're completely dressed in an orangey um, brown dress there. No, no gender specific. Can we please focus? Uh, which to me shows that you're very much in alignment. You're very much in, in balance with what you're seeking. Which is the greatest... I mean, everybody could really have everything and be everything that they wanted if they were just finding a way to be in balance, like in in line, in alignment with the actual thing that they want. And that's what I feel from you here. With this standing your ground, prosperity, you're being backed up by the universe. You're always being backed up, but for some reason you're letting it in now. You're in a very strong balanced place. Your ship is coming in, so it's really beautiful. And then with this 5-0 Michael, uh, there seems to be something that perhaps you've been sweeping under the rug before. You've been sweeping the, like, certain things that perhaps you didn't want to look at, you didn't want to address. Like, we, we don't have to talk about that now. We don't have to deal with that now. Let's just sweep it under the rug for a bit. Um, it's like, with the five of Michael there, five is overcoming obstacles. It's it's a change and it's a change in your life path. So whatever you did not want to look at before, that, that perhaps were the actual thing. I don't want to go so far to say it's self-sabotage, but if there's been something that you've been wanting off the ground, 
to become a reality, to sort of see the prosperity of it, to see it grow and, and blossom. And it's like every time you perhaps got just halfway or 80% and then it wasn't happening. I think it's due to something that you didn't want to look at. Perhaps looking at it uh, at yourself or dealing with other people, just not having the courage to deal with other people, address it, um, to say, you know, this is what I want, or even as a worthiness thing, not thinking that you deserved to have it all, to really have this, if this is a new practice, if this is like a new job opportunity, if this is a career choice, whatever it is, I feel like in the past you, you probably not, did not think that you were worthy of it and did not want to address the things that you needed to look at within, within yourself to get to that point. And I feel like you are doing that now. You're not sweeping it under the rug anymore. So you've overcome that. You're changing that about yourself to reach this goal. And some clarification there. Mm. And then underneath the stand your ground here with number seven, um, we get another purple border, which is the justice card number eight. So this is a really, really good time for you to have it be balanced out because you're much more in balance now. The whole situation is much more in balance now. And this justice, just this card Aries could represent a Libra, uh, Vogen in Swedish. Uh, it could be a Libra influence here somewhere, uh, but other than that, it's just a karma returns. Whatever good you send out, whatever good is going to come back. Um, justice is all about equality, all about having it be fair. It's, it's just such a, if you just sort of stand your ground, I think you just need a little bit of persuasion, maybe not to persuade you in, in, into anything, but like you need a bit of validation, a bit of, okay, it is really going to turn out the way you want it to. Whatever dreams, whatever hopes, whatever thing you want to launch, whatever this is that you want to do, it really truly is going to come to fruition. Why? Because you're going to hold the energy about it. You're going to, you're going to just continue to see it. You're going to continue to envision it happening and feeling it happening and start to see the results of it actually happening. Uh, and that reinforces your belief in it because it's starting to actually happen. You see real evidence of it. You don't have to just hold it in your vision anymore. Um, and you see how so out of balance it's been. Like it couldn't be more out of balance if you tried. That guy there, if we could focus. No? No? You see how he's, there you go. He's holding these two scales and one is so super heavy and large and one is so, so tiny. And I feel like just with this justice card, karma is being restored, balance is being restored. So whatever you might have felt like you cannot get this off the ground or you cannot make it work or is it supposed to take this long? It's like you probably have, invested with time, money, effort, um, just your own showing up, if that makes sense, just continuing on with it. It might just be that you put it up on the shelf for a bit, like putting, putting it a bit on the back burner, like you don't, maybe feeling like you don't even want to do it anymore because it's like, it's, it's so time consuming and it's like, it's not like you don't love it, because then it's the wrong path. If you're if you're doing something over and over and over again and you really hate it, you shouldn't be doing it. But I feel like even though when you do something that you truly, truly love and you're not really super focused on the results of it, you just do it because you love it so much. Because the life the life purpose card that, that you get is all about manifesting your dreams. So for you, this life path could really be about being a manifester it could be about like okay i just want this car and it not not might not be in particularly that important for you to get this actual car it's just that that it shows you 
how much of a creator that you are that you actually get the freaking car, if that makes sense. And so it feels like perhaps you've been like pouring out and pouring out and pouring out to the point of insanity. If you look at this, like how imbalanced it is, but it's going to even out now. And with the number eight there, strong, powerful number, manifestational number. So that is like so above, so below, so in heaven, so on earth. So whatever you've been thinking about and dreaming about and visualizing and throwing out there and throwing out there is like whatever has come out, whatever, let's do this instead. Whatever has come out is now coming back. Whatever has gone out is now coming back. So I think there's been a lot of this and then a lot of this and then a lot of this. And then now you're allowing it to now come back and come back and so hold your energy continue on to do i i get the image um probably has been circulating on facebook that was a while back probably i don't know where i've seen it from the very beginning but uh you know that little dude with his hammer like lo looks like one of the little dwarfs i think from perhaps snow white or something like that <clears throat> and he's like in these, you see how he's gone so far down to hammer himself away to create this path for him. And he's just on the brink. You see how he's like giving up and he's turning his back on it. And he's like one millimeter away. The veil is like so freaking thin from him, like just cracking through the last little veil and there all the crystals were or gold or money or opportunity or abundance what, what have you i just get that vibe like just right now do not give up and uh let's clarify the give up there yes um giving up could mean you leave you're just walking away from it if you say so, I, I i don't give a shit anymore I don't have to, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. That's actually a good giving up because that means that whatever you've been doing that sort of holds it apart from you, that's going to finally fall, fall away because you're not there to hindering it from coming in, if that makes sense. Um, but if this if this is you giving up in the, in the terms of starting to tell yourself, it's not going to come, it's not going to happen, I'm not going to do this, you continually just have that activating um, the holding it apart from you that is actually giving the real giving up giving up you don't give up on your wish or your dream or your manifestation giving up means you're giving up on resistance and that's all you want to do you want to give up on the resistance so like you want to give up on the wall on the guard so it can literally come in okay so I'm going to go back to the second tier and say, what else do we want to bring to Aries? So this is about from now, from the 12th, like somewhere in the middle of um, October and probably a couple of months into the future is what this is all about. I feel like that is as far as we can go right now with all the changes going on in the energy. It moves so fast and it expands so much that that's like the farthest we can come without not really knowing. Probably just 10 years ago, we could probably say for the next five years is going to look like this and people would more or less do the same thing and so there's not much change in your in your energy and therefore you we can say this is the outcome today it's like we can't sort of say what we're going to do in a month because it's such major shifts happening within the energy and so you can only tell the outcome based on how the energy is right now and if you shift that energy the outcome is going to be different right um yeah there is this major success going on here for you, uh, Aries. So we have victory and success coming out. I always get this toot your own horn. <laughs> this is like you calling in the sun. This is you um, like almost depicting what weather it's going to be like. So if somebody would say, uh, yeah, wouldn't it be nice if you can control the weather and it's like you would say, mm, I think you can. 
And this is you controlling the weather. This is you attracting the sun. This is you, excuse me, drawing in the important pieces, the important pa parts that you need on your path right now. There's a like orangey red flag there, uh, which talks about the new foundation of it all, the creative side of it. Uh, you probably have gone it alone for quite a while, and this is the time for you to invite others. The, the major thing for you is going to be one of the biggest things I think around this thing is you're not going to go it alone anymore. You're not going to have the thought, the, the ideas is not going to be just in your head. The, the, the outcome that you pictured for a while is not going to be just yours. You're going to come together with like-minded people that wants to see the same victory, wants to see the same success. All right. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, hold on. Yeah, a bit too much information at the same time here. Sorry. Mm, so what I'm getting with this is that probably before you haven't really allowed other people to step into your creation you've been Aries you could be very much like because you are such a leader you are such a you're a fire sign you're the when you have a vision it's, and it's very clear somebody else comes in and say I see this and it doesn't match it's like you're out and it's like you don't even have time to hear them out or, or you don't even have like, it's like you can't wrap your head around something different than you already have in your mind. And it sort of has thrown you off a bit because you've been wanting to work with other people, but you don't want them to mess with your uh, path. And and here, here what's, what's coming in here and what's going to be a major, probably even as big success as the actual success is going to be that you're going to do it with other people and before when there was a slight bit of self-sabotage going on when there was a slight I don't want to I'm, I'm scared to taking it more forward than I'm already doing or ah, shoot sorry <laughs> I banged my knee or leg in a table the other day and it's like it's so bruised and and I just I just put my hand there um <clears throat> thank you when when you've done it before and it has sort of been a worthy issue it has been can can I really get this off the ground can I really manifest this thing this this dream and it has been a bit of a worthy issue you also you also attract people that is going to resemble that energy around your worthy issue right so in the past you have attracted people that at the end of the day they're not really walking the same path as you are they it sort of sounded good in the beginning because there's a bit of a mixed vibration going on here for you you are very set on on the goal of success and you do know what you're doing and when you get fired up Aries like there's nobody else that can talk everybody into everything just by your sheer passion about it um, and at the same time there's been an active vibration saying I don't know if I'm worthy of this kind of success I don't know if I can take this off the ground and be as successful as other people that I see sort of in my lane or in my field or in whatever this is um, can I really have it all? Can I really manifest this car? Can I, like whatever this is, or grand house, or money, whatever it is that you want. Um, now, when the worthiness has sort of stepped up, it's like you're, you're allowing yourself to know, I, I'm, no, I'm worthy. I, I can do this. I have a right to this. And not, not just that you have the right to it, you understand more the laws of the universe now. So it's not even a worthiness question anymore it's like okay so if I'm sending this out if I'm holding this vibration by law it has to come it has not not even a thing to do with my very um, everything with vibration but with your worthiness so therefore now you're attracting people that is gonna resemble the energy that you know so now saying I am worthy of this I am gonna take this to the bank if you will I am gonna succeed in this okay 
So you be, you've been tooting your own horn there for a while. You have been laying a new foundation for yourself. And I think that's been quite important for you as well, because it's like you wanted to see that it's your doing. It's like you can't blame it. Yeah, I was successful because that dude showed up or that girl helped me out with that. It's, and and uh, that's the fun part in it. It's like, in a while, like it, it doesn't really matter who's who's in the game with you because you know it's your doing. But it's like it, this this first time around, you needed it to be you doing it so that you knew it was your creation. But what is going to be equally much the success here is that you're going to start to have this success and start to build this with other people that are like-minded all the way. Okay. And then we have positive movement forward. I mean, with yet another um, eight. So strong, strong eight indication um, with the power here. Power and strength and manifestation. You're doing it. It's happening. Positive movement forward into the golden era. This channel is a new era. But even the golden era, like you're sailing off into the foreground there with like it's golden sun, it's a golden bird, it's golden sail, it's golden boat. Like you're sitting in the golden on in a golden opportunity. And today I see the whale there again. Sometimes I see the whale and sometimes I don't. So do you see like it looks like a major shadow underneath the water there? Um Here's how I see it, and it's being mirrored when I do this. <laughs> I can't point. Okay, anyway, you see it underneath the boat. The big whale, like there's there's this knowing, this this creature underneath you. Such, just like the universe is all-knowing, like the depth of the sea is like also all-knowing it's like that whale there is just swimming with you with every single thing that you need on this journey you're so carried and you're so nurtured on this path and, and what you need to do now is just continue there's smooth wind in the sail smooth sailing there's no Whatever the little, you know, little, little waves there on the, on the big sea, it doesn't matter because you have a freaking whale backing you up and the angels are with you. It's just said that you're getting supporting, guiding and protecting energy around you as you, as you move toward your dreams. And with the eight there again, strong manifestation. So I'm going to go deeper into this and see exactly what it is that you're doing and uh, perhaps other guiding advice for you in the extended so if you feel really drawn to this if you feel like this reading resonates with you then i welcome you to click the link underneath in the description box to get to the extended reading if this is where we go our separate ways then thank you so much for, for watching and i hope to see you back soon take care airs bye